So, dear ones, it is good to be back again with all of you. Settle yourselves. Allow any lower vibrations to go down your grounding cord. Release them. Thoughts about your day or the past days or the coming days. Any woes, any worries, concerns, let them go. Be in the present moment. For if you focus your energies, usually unconsciously, in the past, worrying about stuff or reminiscing or focusing on any experience that disturbed your vibration, we will use those terms. Or if you are focused on worrying about something unpleasant happening in your future, you are missing out on creating your current moment. For that is all you have. And so many have said before, Focus on your feelings. Because your feelings will tell you how you are in the moment. And whether you are thinking about the past, the present, or the future. And usually people we see as a pattern, if they're not in the living in the present moment, that is when they are disturbed and not at peace because they're going over things that happened or what could happen instead of the what ifs in a negative focus on what if on the positive side for your future Ooh, what if this happens what if that happens and if that excites you to think like that then do so but if it's triggers a what if and all of a sudden you revert back to the but I don't know how or I don't know how this would happen or this how this could be possible then don't think about it because you have too many limiting beliefs that will not allow you to imagine a bright future for yourself that is where many as you say get tripped up in their thought process because they're intending to visualize their futures the way they would like but then that little as you call it monkey mind comes in and says oh but you can't do that you're not good enough you don't know how to do that and all the little limiting beliefs that come in and what do you do you listen to that little monkey mind and you let it make the decision for you and shift you out of your focus of creation and instead focus on what you're not capable of and in so doing focusing vibrations on not creating what you would like instead creating more of what you don't because you're focused on what you don't like Does this make sense? That is why the feelings are key, dear ones. All you need to do is be aware of how you feel all day. Tune in. Maybe hmm, this medium just had an idea. She has not done this, but this might work for you. Uh, Some people have a little like a bell on their computers when they're sitting at work or on their their phone or something that tells them to get up and move around, that sort of thing. Well, you could use a similar tool and maybe every 20 minutes have a little bell or a song go off, something, and it's your reminder to check and see how you're feeling. And then you begin to become more aware. 
as you go through your day, perhaps you will notice patterns as to when you are feeling better around certain experiences, certain situations, certain people. But that helps to raise your awareness. And as you are more aware of how you are feeling in those situations or perhaps time of day, if there is a pattern, then you can look deeper and decide, how can I change this? Because if I know this is where my day messes up or if these people upset me, then that is your discernment to choose whether or not to continue to repeat the pattern. And remember, you, each individual, is responsible for the reality that they create for themselves because only you are transmitting the vibrations from your physical being by your feelings. No one else can create for you. You can allow others to, as you say, run interference if you accept it, if you listen to it, if you take comments or criticisms and internalize it as unpleasant and negative and shift into a lower vibration, then you have allowed, you have chosen to take someone else's opinion of you and make it your own. Why would you do that? Unless it is a, perhaps, opinion of you that you already have of yourself that is a positive one. Because if someone's opinion of you, and it is their perception of reality, Dear ones, each of you has your own perception of reality that no one else can comprehend. And when you understand this concept, it will help you to have some detachment and compassionate detachment even more so. Because you will realize that everyone that you meet is living in their own version of reality for them. And if you cross their paths, Their perception of you is however they perceive you because you don't know how they are thinking. You cannot. You can't even know how they are feeling. Not truly. Because the feelings are inside. And all of you have said you feel one way when you feel very different just to try to hide your feelings or protect someone else or whatever it is. So you know there can be a deception of sorts between the words and the actual feelings. And there's nothing, we're not judging here, we're asking you to just be aware of this fact and understand that even you perceive things through your own filter, filters, from your limiting belief patterns, your thought patterns, the collective collective consciousness belief patterns, if you agree to them and accept them as your own. And the key here is, if you know what the masses are thinking, then you are one step above in consciousness of the masses. And if you are more conscious than the majority of the people who are Mm, this medium just put the word lemmings, jumping off the cliff, following each other blindly because they're being told to do something and they don't question because they have been programmed to do so without question or hesitation. But when you know that most people around you act like this, then you get to choose whether you jump off that cliff with them Consciously, because you are aware that you're doing it, you're choosing it, or you get to take a higher perspective and think differently. And as you awaken in this process, 
you begin to release those limiting belief programs that have been put into the collective. But you must, it all begins with your feelings. It is like walking up a staircase. One step leads to the next, which leads to the next, which leads to the next. And as you keep walking and getting the next step in the process, you keep elevating your awareness. Does this make sense? So we ask you just to pay attention. You know how the world is <clears throat> acting. You know how people around you, what they, we shall say, what they believe, what they think is happening because of what they watch on your television. But most of you, and perhaps those listening, are becoming more aware of what is real and what is mm, more programming, we shall call it. So when you begin to question what is going on in the world around you and asking questions and not just accepting what you are told, you are already in a more awakened state than the masses. Because they are still like the lemmings, just following all the others to jump off the cliff. They don't know that the cliff leads to doom. <laughs> perhaps it does, perhaps it doesn't. It's just an analogy. But if you are going in... Hmm, one moment, this medium is seeing a visual. Think of it as... Uh, uh, here's a better one, a better one. Have you ever seen people who run a marathon on your televisions, perhaps, or in person? Yes? It's th hundreds or maybe thousand people. It's a lot of people. And they're all starting bunched up together, and they're all going in the same direction. Well, at some point, if you think of the the marathon, yes, they're running consciously, but some of them break out of the pack and others fall by the wayside. They don't even make it to the finish. Not that that really matters. The main thing is the ones that are breaking out of the pack because those that run with the pack are tied to that vibration in this analogy. Do you understand? So there are so many on your world that are just in a pack mentality, if you would like to think of it that way. And when someone breaks out of the pack, if you think of it like a pack of wolves, there's a disconnect to that pack vibration, to that pack mentality. And some find it very uncomfortable. A wolf feels it as, as exclusive because for them, pack is safety and community. And you can have community as humans living as one unified consciousness. But each of you has your own, we shall say, path, for lack of a better term, to walk. And so when you decide that the pack is going to the right, but I feel like going to the left, you may feel disconnected, you may feel isolated, confused, all of the above when you have this initial separation from the pack mass consciousness vibration. Does this make sense? And it is going to feel uncomfortable at first. But that is because you have been taught to fit in. <coughs> you have been taught that everyone is supposed to be like everyone else, do what everyone else is doing. 
and that has not served your world. And so, if you understand and are aware that when you separate from mass consciousness, others may look at you, perceive you with their own filter as being, we'll say, outsider, weirdo, <laughs> strange. The word, the word woo-woo sometimes comes to play, even though it is not. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that you have taken 100% responsibility for your life, for your reality, and you are walking in your truth and on your path. Everyone is walking on their path, but most of them have blinders on. They're in the pack mentality. When they awaken in their own time, and since you all have had this awakening already, then you know how others, what others are going to be going through when it happens on a greater scale at once. So the more vibrationally aligned you are, the more aligned with your higher truth and your divinity and the higher your vibration and you maintain compassion and forgiveness and love and light as much as possible, you will get tripped up because you're human, but bounce back as fast as you can through that awareness as you build it with that simple little reminder exercise if that works because you might find it very interesting if you take notes on what was I feeling every 20 minutes and see hmm, it would be a very interesting exercise actually this medium's thinking about trying it although she'll have to set a timer <laughs> so understand that as you progress you will begin to be more discerning in who you spend time with, in what you watch on your television, what music you listen to, because all of these have different vibrations. And some of these vibrations will be disconcerting and uncomfortable and unpleasant for you to listen to, to be around, to spend time with, whatever it is. And as you become aware of that, if it's a person, walk away. If it's a show on your TV or a movie, you start feeling uncomfortable. This medium has said before she tried to do stuff, watch stuff months ago and could not. She, she was to feel her vibration getting very disturbed. And so she turned it off and she found something that made her laugh. And so it is a conscious choice. If some of the television programs make you laugh, fine, watch them, but realize it's not reality. And so maintain your detachment and non-judgment and realize that even in those, there are programs because they're not real people living real lives. And so just make sure that you are discerning. And the discernment comes from the state of awareness of your feelings. As you see, it all circles back to where we began with the feelings. Everything comes to this one point. Your feelings let you know whether your vibration is in alignment with who you truly are, with your source, with your creator, or if you are out of balance and if you have gone with the pack mentality and reacted or responded in a negative way. Whatever it is. Okay? Understand? Good. What we have done is we have been asked this night. Another is here to speak, my dear ones. Blessings to you. And now I am here. Feel my vibration. 
It has been some time since I have spoken to you. The medium sensed my presence in the beginning and then was surprised I was not the first speaker. I am going about the room now tending to all of you. You may visualize my energy as a... Someone once called it sour apple green or a limey green. Bathing over you, wrapping you gently, compassionately in this healing vibration. Hmm. The medium just realized why I am here. Many years ago, I told through another medium friend of hers to a group such as this that she was where she was just in attendance as you are. That there will be a cleansing in Rome. It must burn to transform the lower vibrations. And so the time is almost upon you with many earth changes, not necessarily the physical ones where your earth has volcanoes and tidal waves and that sort of things, although some of that is upon you as she releases the dense energies that have built up over many thousands of years. But there will be, as you call it, a reckoning of sorts. And one of my prophecies was for this to come in Rome. That not all of the beauty will be destroyed, but the truly dense energies that have been perpetrating, destroying humanity, limiting your growth, your evolution... They are at an end. Know this. It is almost upon you. Do not be shocked or shaken or in fear. Know that the darkness is being turned to the light by the fire which cleanses burns the lower vibrations hmm. the medium just realized just like in Notre Dame of sorts but we will not go into that and so understand and be aware as the previous speaker mentioned of your feelings, always. Maintain the discernment. For as mm, months and the year ahead unfold, there will be many vibrational shifts from dense energies to higher vibrations. But the cleansings will be very, we will say, visible and for the most part public for the masses that the previous speaker was discussing. They are, yes, programmed by these darker energies, denser energies, yet many of what has been implemented is being released, removed. It is like unshackling humanity. It has begun. There is no stopping the moving forward. Stay in your compassion. 
Be aware if you drop into fear and switch with your music, with the laughter, with the movie, whatever it is to make you feel lighter. For you are the beacons that others will seek out in the times ahead. So you must clear yourselves, do your inner work so that you will be ready to assist those who ask for it. Let them come to you. Let them ask for assistance. Just be the beacon of light that you are. As you raise your vibration, your light will become more palatable. And those of lower vibrations will become uncomfortable in your presence. Do not judge them. Realize that it is like a moth to a flame of sorts. Initially drawn to the light, but unable to handle its hmm, ferocity of sorts, but you are not ferocious beings. Think of it as the intensity. For as much as people would like to shift, they cannot shift as quickly as they may think. Because they must, as you do, must do the inner work. The limiting belief patterns, the dense energies you've been holding on to from lack of forgiveness, lack of compassion for self and others. Release them now. Whatever is surfacing as I speak, I am here with my team to assist you now. And breathe. My energies, as you may say, sense are a bit intense for some. And this medium is thinking, well, even my voice is more intense. Yes. For I get attention. And my vibration is felt. For I have been with you before. It has just been a while. We never leave. We're just working on different levels. While others speak. So remember. That you are loved. You are blessed. You are whole. You are beings of light. You are source. You are creators never forget your divinity don't allow anyone to take that away remind yourself daily looking in the mirror I'm awesome I'm a powerful creator I am source I am love and I am blessed and when you feel excited and strong and powerful and are able to truly stand with those words for as was said be previously the words have vibration but the I am behind them or in front of them in this case makes them active you are co-creating you are the I am for you are creators you are sparks of your creator having a physical experience, remembering who you are, remembering your divinity, your power, which you are using for good and are not because you are awakened, cannot be tricked to use it for the other side, we shall say. For it has happened to all in lifetimes it is just experiences that you have had and you have grown from them. You are more aware, you are more evolved as a soul, as a spirit, as a being. You understand concepts you did not even when you were younger, but definitely in other lifetimes, other incarnations, we shall say, because that is more appropriate. For to have these experiences, you need a body. Because that is how you grow and have these 
3D schoolhouse type experiences. And yes, you volunteered for this. You chose to be here knowing that the changes ahead are afoot, are coming, would be coming when you are here. You wanted to be a part of it. You are excited to be a part of it and to help not only Gaia, but your humanity. And we ask you to remember this excitement for your life, for yourselves, now. Others have said that life is an adventure, a game. Yes, and you get to choose how exciting you make it. It doesn't have to be hmm, rich and famous of sorts, if that's what makes you happy and that's what you, your dreams are, then fulfill them from a space of love and of service. But that is not the majority. Every individual, as was spoken, has their own perspective of reality and each individual uniquely knows what inside them brings them joy, makes them feel good. And if you're not sure what that is, do some soul searching. Think about the experiences in your life where you were so happy and everything hmm, was lining up. You know why? Because you were feeling so good that life flowed. And that is the natural state of being. But so many, if you're not aware of how you're feeling, don't realize that when they felt really good, everything just flowed and, and fell into place and, and it was wonderful. But something happened to disrupt that vibrational sequence of sorts and you fell out of alignment and instead of bouncing back like you know screaming down the roller coaster ah, all the way down knowing you're going to hit bottom and roll right back up the top you forgot about you coming back up and you kept going down and then got stuck in the spiral and lower vibrations but that was a choice Understand that you have always created your reality, usually by your unconscious choices. And this is why understanding and, and identifying and releasing those limiting belief patterns about yourself is key because that unconscious mind will trip you up when you least expect it, if you are not aware. You may be saying, well, how can I be aware? your feelings. You will know when something has shifted your vibration because you will feel it. It makes it so simple. Your feelings are key. And the rest becomes awareness. And as you grow in awareness and you drop, we'll say release, for that is more appropriate, release the lower vibrations and the limiting belief patterns, your vibration raises, you become clearer channels, you become more light, able to hold more light. You are light, but your physical body is able to hold higher vibrations of love and light. And then you begin to create easier from a higher vibration consciously. And as you continue to raise your vibration, like going up that staircase, your consciousness expands, your consciousness evolves as do you. Your perceptions of reality expand in ways you cannot comprehend because those programs that the masses, the lemmings have been following, you're literally up 10 flights up looking down at the race, the crowd running past. And you just found a shortcut to the end of sorts, if you want to think of it that way. It's not a shortcut. You did the work. You just did the mental work as opposed to running like rats in a maze. For that is what so many are doing. They feel like they're running in a maze. And someone has set the walls one day and the next day the walls are different. And they're losing track of where they're going. And they don't know where which direction to go. And if they could 
you all can picture a maze, yes? That that a, a rat or a hamster or something would run through? This medium, she's remembering this now, when she was in high school, built one of these with her father. And it was made out of wood and she timed the, the little critters. She had dribbles. And she had a glass cover so they couldn't jump out and get all over the floor. But she timed them. And occasionally she would move the walls. Some of the walls were movable. So the maze would change a little bit. Imagine the masses running through that maze. And when you shift in consciousness, you are just looking down on the maze and everyone else running in it, clueless, you are just in a higher level of awareness. It is a very simple analogy that makes sense, yes? So when you start perceiving what is going on in your world and with your family and friends and community, for those that are not awake, remember this maze analogy and remember not to get in the crowd, get in the maze, to stay above it and perceive what is going on from a higher perspective so that you are able to, we shall say, make more conscious choices in your lives. Do not be concerned about those running in the masses because you were one of them at one point and at some point you woke up as will all of them. Your hmm, task, if you want to call it that, is to maintain the integrity of your own vibration, which means in alignment feeling as good as you can, and have that compassionate detachment for the others that are not awakened. You cannot discuss these matters with because they are not yet ready. They will not believe you about the earth changes or any of what I spoke of earlier, and that is all right. They don't need to believe anything. They are living in the moment as are you. Whether they are aware of it or not, they chose to incarnate during these times to be present for these experiences on whatever level they chose. Awake, to be awakened, to stay asleep, it does not matter. It is their choice before they incarnated as to how much they will experience and dear ones know that some people will choose to no longer be on the earth plane because they don't want to be here any longer the vibrations the changes may be too much for their physical form and that could be part of their soul contract as an exit point you don't know what you don't know you don't know what any other being had agreed to experience how long to be here whatever it is most of you aren't even aware of your own agreements and why you came to be here so just focus on yourselves pay attention to your feelings and make it a game of exploration discovery about self and you will be amazed at just how beautiful you are. How powerful you are. Every person in this world has had experiences that have stretched their limitations about themselves, about the, what they're capable of. And they have grown, as have you. Everything is an experience. Even this session is an experience. You get to choose what to do with it. We cannot tell you what to think, how to be, what to do. Spirit will never interfere in your free will. We guide, we can support, we can help things align, 
with whatever vibration you are putting out when you are in alignment, we can help with the synchronicities. We actually enjoy that. And so as you are more in alignment and feeling as good as possible, we're not saying everyone bliss out all day. That's generally not the case, not really feasible in these bodies, although some could be without drugs, of course, and narcotics, we're talking to, naturally, in a state of vibrational bliss, just feel, imagine if you could feel peace throughout your day, throughout your week, and if everyone on your world felt peace, not wanted peace, felt peace within themselves, for that means they are at peace with themselves and who they are first and then holding that peace for themselves they resonate peace for others that is how you create peace starting from your own vibration and that is just one example of whatever it is you wish to create on your world on a world scale it must happen with one individual at a time. No one can do the work for anyone else because as has said, been said many times, you cannot make someone think something. They have to choose their thoughts for themselves and decide how they want to feel and what they want to focus on. So some people want to focus on peace and others want to focus on war, which is the absence of peace. Not only externally, but internally. And so you get what you focus on. If you focus on peace and feeling peace, you're putting a vibration of peace out into your world. And it picks up the vibration of all the others who are also vibrating this peace vibration. And it ripples out, affecting all life, not only on this world, But currently, there's not as many people focused on peace as disruption instead of the other word we do not want to say again. The lower vibrational energies, remember, words have vibration. So instead of talking about something you don't want, which is what we said once with that three-letter word, we will just call it a disruption because that sounds a little more neutral, doesn't it? So... Another speaker mentioned about words having vibration and pay attention to your words. You will know when you are talking about something, how it makes you feel. Because if you're talking about something that has a lower vibrational component to it in your mass consciousness, you will instantly lower your vibration. Just like that three-letter word. If you hear that word on your news or people talking about it, or anything of that lower vibrational nature, you instantly feel a lower vibration. And that is how the programming is done. The more you hear something, the more it gets into your consciousness. And so you must choose what you listen to, what you read, what you expose yourself to by discernment of the vibration that it offers to your being. And then you will raise your awareness as to what you are aligned with and what doesn't make you feel so good. And then you will let it go by the wayside and choose something else. And then it becomes easier. But each person must do this shifting, this awareness process on their own. Because only you, dear ones, know how you feel. And so no matter how hard you want to help someone else, you cannot. The only way you can help others is by radiating a more positive, higher vibration for yourself. Because that radiates the love and the light and compassion out to others to help them shift their vibration. And so you must work on yourself. Focus on yourself. And some people on your world may say, well, that's selfish, but... Yes, you must. This is one of the lies you have been taught, that you cannot focus on yourself. If you don't, who will? No one will. 
Only you can do the work for yourself. Only you can take care of yourself, your vibration, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts. No one else can. And so one of the programs that has been rampant is that you're selfish if you take care of yourself. So people never take care of themselves. They try to take care of others and instead they deteriorate. And that serves the mass consciousness of the lemmings going off the cliff because they're not aware of their reality. They're not aware of their choices. They're not aware of their thoughts or their feelings. And so we're reminding you Every person, every human on this planet is a divine co-creator and everyone should not feel anything other than empowered by taking care of themselves. Release the shame and the guilt now. Turn it over to us. There are many tending to you now for I triggered something in some of you. Release it and allow the angelic beings who are here to fill it with compassion for yourself if you are ready to receive it. See yourselves bathed in the silver ray of compassion. Allow it to penetrate every cell and molecule of your being until you feel your physical form as though it's vibrating at a slightly different frequency than where you started this night and allow this vibration to pulse gently like a pebble in a pond rippling out. Gently rippling out from your physical to your emotional body, mental body, and spiritual bodies until you see yourself, feel yourselves as radiant balls of silver light, bright and shiny, no tarnish whatsoever, and allow this silver ray of compassion to continue filling you in as you continue to release from these higher levels, and we will add the gold to the silver, so you have a silver and gold mix, bright and shiny. You all can imagine silver and gold jewelry, so very easy to imagine this blend and just allow this vibration to gently radiate throughout your physical form and then beyond until you feel yourselves as the energetic powerful divine conscious creator beings of light that you are you may feel an expansion, you may feel a vibration in your body that is normal. As you raise your vibration, you are integrating higher levels of light and so the physical form takes the longest to integrate these frequencies, which is why you feel something. You might feel lightheaded after we finish. It is because your spirit instantly, the spiritual levels instantly integrate these frequencies and the mental, emotional, physical take a little longer with the physical being the last. So allow yourselves time to integrate the frequencies of this night. And now we ask you to add the green ray for healing more of an emerald green than the one you started with with my discussion and allow this beautiful emerald healing ray to bathe over you as well for where you have released denser energies allow it to heal and the gold will fill any voids in your field you cannot leave a hole in your field, just like you would not leave a hole in your garden. You put something in it. You don't want something to just grow there or put itself there. You want to put something that you want there. And you want love and light and healing in place where there was a void of any releasing. 
of the denser energies. Always. And now bathe yourself in the violet to just transmute anything else that is being loosened up, ready to be released. As the lower vibrations are transmuted into love from the violet ray. And from this space, this vibration, now allow yourselves to be bathed in the pink light of unconditional love and merge with the green in your heart space. Feel the resonating frequency of these two vibrations swirling in your chest, in your heart chakra, as it expands a bit, loosens things up a bit, as we prepare for the healing portion of this night. And as you feel the expanded self Allow your angelic wings to loosen and unfold. See yourselves as angelic beings of light, for that is who you are. You're just in a body, having an experience for a while. And from this expanded light being state, imagine yourself joining many other beings of light around your world, your beautiful Gaia, as though you were satellites up on the grid around your world, the Christ consciousness grid, to help with the healing of your world and raising the consciousness of every soul who has incarnated, would be the correct term, and allow these energies to flow from your etheric heart like gentle beacons, like that lighthouse, and bathe your world in these beautiful pink and green. And we will add the silver for compassion. You can see her as though these colors are being poured over her, as though she was just a ball. Whatever works for you, you can see her radiating and turning into these beautiful colors as though a different light bulb Each person has their own way of imagining or visualizing this work. So just do whatever works for you and allow the other beings of light to assist you in this process for there are many on the grid. You can imagine, if you wish, your beautiful Gaia in the center of the room and so many other beings joining you in this space thinking of yourselves as angelic beings out in space (laughs) is too big of a far-fetch for you. But you are conscious beings of light. You are consciousness. You are energy. You are not limited to these physical forms. You can go anywhere with your consciousness and, and visit your beautiful Gaia, the heart of her. But we will not deal with that now. Just allow yourselves to be the beacons of healing Feel these vibrations flowing through you, the light being that you are, and bathing your world, touching the higher self of every living thing, even the animals, but the humans, the animals, the fish, the birds, all creatures, the plants, the earth. That includes the rocks, the water. Everything has a consciousness. Assist with their healing by simply holding this vibration. And allowing all to accept whatever they are willing to receive at this time. That includes your friends and family. Imagine them bathed in this light as well. Your pets your co-workers, and don't be surprised if some people that you don't agree with pop into the picture. Yes, send them healing as well while you are in this higher state of awareness for it is the best time for you to understand what it means to maintain the integrity of your vibration even though you might be in the in the space of someone who has a lower vibration and you are discerning in that, you do not 
have to drop your vibration and sink to their level. Maintain this beautiful vibration, your connection, your expansion, for this is how you create. This is the space from which to create. And just allow this healing to continue going where it is needed on your world, to all the governments, and those that are leaders, as you would call them, labels, for they will all be participating in the shifts ahead Willingly or not, it does not matter. Everyone is exactly where they are meant to be on their path. And if you can remember this simple phrase, you will be able to have peace throughout your day and maintain a space of non-judgment for all others in your world. And then you will truly Understand what it means to maintain your vibration and to be aware with that higher perspective of reality. It is not that you are better than anyone else. It is simply that you are more aware. And all will awaken and become more aware and evolve in their own divine timing for them. But in this process that we are doing here, you are helping to hold the vibration for your entire beautiful Gaia and all of humanity, just holding the energies as though hmm, this medium just imagined holding out a bag of candy and allowing people to take what they want if they like candy. She was thinking of how the kids come on Halloween even though it's not Halloween. So that was just the image that popped into her head. Everyone will take and receive whatever is in divine order for them at this time. But know that this work that we do helps everything that is going on in your world. You are not small. You are so powerful that you are by this work and joining so many others in spirit and the angelic realm, helping your world. Does that sound like you are a small being? No. And so by being here and participating in this, you are helping to remember who you are, dear ones. You are helping to remember and reconnect to your divine potential your power to create, and your compassion for all life, including your own, especially your own. So allow these energies to continue to flow through you for a few more moments. Imagine the healing ray, the green, and the violet penetrating, soaking in, all the way down to your earth mother's core for her being has held on to dense energies on the land for millennia and it is time to assist her she has been releasing but the violet will help release in a more compassionate manner for all life So bathe her on and through with this violet and then the green to heal what was transmuted and fill with the gold just like you did for yourselves and allow the energies to go where they are needed. You need not know specifics unless you are guided to certain areas. Just intend that the vibrations go and the healing goes where it is needed. And let spirit do the rest. We thank you for assisting in this work, dear ones. Slowly, gently make your way back into your bodies, into the space. Remember what you have felt. Remember what you have experienced and heard this night. Learned this night. You can do it. You came here in these forms to remember who you are, 
to have experiences to help you awaken and to help the world around you. But you must start with yourselves. And so it has begun. And it will continue to unfold. As you do more release work, you may call on your guides or some of the, you can just say the spiritual support team as this medium likes to call them. We will assist you in your unfoldment, in your releasing. Work with the violet to transmute and work with the silver for compassion and the green for healing. And when you feel that you are ready to fill in a release, use the gold to fill it in and plug that hole in your space, in your field. Understand? Good. We have done as we have been asked this night. We thank you for allowing us to be of service. Remember that you are worthy of all your good. You are divine creators, divine beings of light, as are all on this world and beyond. Our blessings to all of you. Take a few breaths to get you back into your bodies as we wrap up this evening session. Until we speak again, have a good evening and good night. Our blessings to all of you. Be at peace. And